Welcome to another episode of the Oxygen Not Included Beginner's Guide. Uh, and as you can see, there's a lot going on. <laughs> so off screen, I planned a bit. So I kind of mirrored this design over here. Hello. So I have that in mind. And then I've started planning where I want a water tank down here at the bottom. Let's see what we have here. We don't want salt water yet. I'm going to say we don't want a person because as you can see, our calories aren't doing great. <laughs> so we're going to reject all. Um, so are we low on... Oh, okay, no one's stressed. Let's just search uh, meal wood or meal lice. Zero. Okay, so we need to get more of these growing. So we can just grab this and copy settings. Let's do that. I don't know how many seeds we have. Couple. So they should get that planted soon. If we need, we can uh, kill some hatchlings. So maybe we'll attack this guy and then go down here and then we'll be able to queue barbecued meat. I did fix this, correct? Yes, okay. I had clicked uh, to queue forever on accident. I really want this to be like the accept button. So you're like, I want five accept, but it's the forever button. <laughs> so I know I've, I've clicked that on accident a couple of times. So Nesbitt is going to go down here and get this guy for us. Oh, poor Nesbitt. She's being bit. She's got hypothermia. So hopefully she's going to feel better soon. Uh, we don't... Uh, what's that? Transit to meat. We don't want anyone eating that. And we can come down here and do that forever. I still don't think we have, yeah, somebody who can grill. Do we have any skill points? I don't think so. Oh. The hard part with the cook is like once they're assigned to be said cook, it's all they'll do. <laughs> so uh, I'm not ready to assign anyone that quite yet. Oh, right. Today, uh, <laughs> we're going to be working on our plumbing. Do we have everything for that researched? We need this. We're needing the water sieve. So we'll get that started. And we have a bit of food over here. Let's grab a, a copy of that. Oh, and we'll need another ladder to get up there. Uh, like that. Mm. And then we'll need to dig out that. There we go. We got a lot of uh, meal lice getting harvested, which will help. We can kind of start building up stuff. So we're going to put this here. I like giving the dupes a shower. Most people don't, but I like to. Uh, it gives them a bit of a boost. It's not really that necessary and it takes up a lot of time, but. I just like the idea of them having the option to shower, so. <laughs> Our deodorizer has no power. What's up with that? Nothing has power. Uh, can we prioritize getting that filled? <laughs> kind of important we keep power going on in this base. Let's see, I think after we finish this, and we're getting pretty close, I will do insulated liquid pipes. The liquid that we're going to be circulating through the base is going to be a bit warm. And if we just use normal pipes, that will be warming everything around it. So if we insulate it, it will help keep the base cool. Oh, Frankie has a skill point. Uh, farming. I'm torn. We could go into creature wrangling. So we could start um, raising creatures if we wanted. Or... I could do improved carrying. It means they can carry more in one go, so uh, they don't have to make as many trips. Uh, we're not really set up for creature wrangling, so let's do carrying capacity and then we'll do that. Somebody else? Oh, that's it. Again, I think I might do improved carrying and then go down the construction branch if we want, or we can go uh, further down into the super duper hard digging. <laughs> but we're not really to uh, diamond and obsidian yet, so 
not super concerned about that, but this means that when she does carry stuff, especially if she's helping supply to construction, she can do it in less trips. Research complete. Let's go ahead and get insulated pipes done. More skill points. We have Ada. I think I might just give pretty much everybody this for right now. Because we don't really need to be destroying like unique buildings at the moment. So we'll go ahead, uh, go ahead and go with that. <laughs> Where did these two come from? They must have been in some of these rooms or something. Little inconvenient because they may start disturbing these guys. But again, we have this bed done in such a way that it won't bother anybody. Let's hit B to build another one. I'm not entirely sure why it's keeping up stress since I'm, no one's really stressing. <laughs> Do I have it uh, selected? Ah, so we can take this off. So you can have it not at all, only when there's an alert and then always. But let's go with only with alerts just because if I don't need a little warning over here that they're doing fine. Ooh, another thing we can build while we wait is a liquid pump right here. Where did it go? There we go. Liquid pump right there. We're going to be using this liquid to start priming our system. I will also want one of these. I'll explain all of that in a bit, but we want to get them started at the very least. It's got full, so we're gonna go ahead and jump it on the floor. Ooh, a new printable. Uh, don't want those just yet. And that would be ty uh, tempting, but I'm gonna reject just one or two more. What's in this area? Is it just oxygen? It is. Are there serious germs in the area? No. Okay. I might dig up into this for extra food. I will be having the... Right. Boing. Deconstruct buildings. These two things. So we're gonna have a path that goes up along the side and then there's gonna be quite the wall and then there's gonna be like a power system in here. But I want this to be a nature reserve. So if we look in rooms, right here we have a nature reserve. And all we'll need to do is put in a park sign and then every time they walk through it, they'll get uh, a boost. That's what we'll want to do. We find the nature reserve sign. I assume we haven't researched it or I'm blind. Let's see. Okay, we'll need to research it. But once we do, we just put this little sign here and it becomes something that gives them a morale boost. Alright, so now that we have a hole in the wall, we're gonna put the door here. So, this is gonna be something I'll discuss in a bit. But we will eventually make this into a liquid lock. We need to upgrade that guy. And then what we will have will be something like... So... Let's see, how big is this room? 58. Okay, so that would be good for the size. So we can add, cancel this guy. We will be adding a door. If you hit O, you can turn it to its side. Which I'll do like so. Just so we can close off and keep this a room. I don't want it getting too big. Ah, we finished our research. So that's all we wanted in the uh this branch for a bit. We have that guy. So until I think of something else that I need. Might go ahead and get that nature reserve kind of started. So yes, this is what this system's going to look like. Once this guy has been removed, we will put another block here. So you'll have this T right here, and what we'll do is we'll fill this with water. And that means that any gases we find in this area can't get into the base. We're not too concerned about it currently, because we're going to be going into an area with just normal oxygen. 
but eventually we'll want it to fill this with liquid. Can they reach this to dig it, is the question. If not, we may need to do something like a lace. Thank you, Frankie. So now we can do that. Then they can just work on this in the background. Well, I... Actually, I'm going to put this on a four priority. Because I'll, I'll want them working on the bathroom stuff I'm about to set up. Hello, uh, Editor Knox here. <laughs> So I'm obviously working on the editing this video. And I've come to the conclusion I hate this setup. <laughs> this just happens sometimes. So what I'm going to do is take this and I'm moving it here, which has the inconvenient thing of having to mean I've got to move all of this over, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I want this built here. So I'm going to work on that off screen. <laughs> Okay, so this is more of the setup that I am going to be using. So we've just shifted it over to this point. I wonder if they could reach that. Um, but yeah, this is this is what we're going to go with instead of what we had originally. I just didn't like that they had to go out and up and around and then use the ladder. So I just moved it over. <laughs> so we're going to need a water sieve in this room. Um, yeah, let's rotate this. So the white is going to be where the polluted water is going to go. The green is where the clean water is going to go. Let's get some insulative sandstone tile. So the clean water is going to... I'm going to come and bring it over this way. Seems a bit... Um, out of the way, but it's just because I will be using this side for clean water to get to other places as well. And we'll bring this over and stick it to there and to there. And like so. And then we're going to have a whole line of polluted like this till about there. Okay. Um, the reason we want the we can't just draw a line straight across is if one person's using a toilet and flushes and this one's blocked, the whole system black backs up and they can't flush so they won't use the toilets. So we want the the polluted water to be getting out of the um like the toilets as soon as possible. We don't want that blocked up. Then this is a bit of an odd situation, but I'm going to put a bridge here. So when it comes to the way that it chooses the priority is bridges have like number one priority. If you have a line that goes into a bridge, it will always go there first. Whereas if I was to, let's get insulated. If I was to just T right here, it would be every other one would, the water would choose every other pipe which isn't quite what we want here. What I'm trying to build is like an overflow location. So if the water builds up here, like in this part of the system, let's say this can't filter fast enough and this fills up, I want somewhere it's gonna dump the extra so that these toilets can still flush. So what I'm doing with this bridge is I'm saying, as long as it can, I want the liquid going into this filter. We're also gonna want to uh bring that guy into this line as well but if this gets backed up dump it out because we don't want this filled up if we, it's not necessary and then I'm going to use a little bit of automa uh, automation right here so then I do this so that I can toggle when this runs because I don't need it running all of the time because that'll just back this up and it kind of ruins the point of this so, uh, and I can do, turn this switch on and off myself. Dupes don't have to come over and do it. So that's why this is nice to use here. So let us double check. So the polluted or the purified, but still germy water is going to come out here, go around and go into the toilets. Yes. <laughs> For some reason, these symbols, like, I don't know 
why my brain struggles with them because they make a lot of sense but I'm always like is that that's where it goes in yes okay and then once they flush it'll come out into these pipes here it goes into the bridge and it'll giving it priority uh, it exits the bridge here and it'll come into this system and go in here the same here this pumps out into this system okay so everything's looking good there Looks like we just need this guy and some power, and this is actually all set up. So we need to hook up that and this. Let's go ahead and turn that off, just so we can make sure this everything's set up first. Research complete. Wow, that was fast. I guess we'll leave that just for a minute so that they can get some cleaning done. Now we've got that park sign, we can plop it there once they get up into that area. It should be noted this is kind of a janky setup, but it's what works for me. <laughs> a lot of people have like a huge tank for dumping off the excess, but eventually I'll be using this. Um, I can use the excess water elsewhere into like crops and stuff, so this won't be as necessary. Let's just deconstruct this guy. Uh, let's double check our system. Okay, the plumbing seems to be set up. And power seems to be set up. So let's turn this guy on. It's going to pump water into the sieve. Alright, now that that's full, let's go ahead and turn that off. So the reason we need this is because when the dupes go to the bathroom, they produce more liquid um, than goes in. So this isn't this can't be like a closed loop. So here we can see this filtered that polluted water. It is now filling up here, and the next time they need to use the restroom, they'll be able to do so. Let's actually deconstruct both. So that I can put a new sink here. And then we can start getting rid of these. There's polluted oxygen or polluted germs in the air everywhere. <laughs> okay, now that that's gone, let's go into medicine and grab ourselves a proper sink. And it is set up the same way with the plumbing pipes. Here we'll put in the clean water. Here we'll put in gross water can kind of just start planning like so. Okay. No, you're so close. Thank you. <laughs> so this works the same. We only need um, them washing their hands when they're leaving. So now we can get this guy deconstructed. And we can actually start building our next toilet. So as you can see, there'll be a sink, three toilets, three sinks. I don't know that I said that right. One shower, three toilets, three sinks. Oh, new printables. Operating, decorating. These two are almost exactly the same. Um, I'm really torn. Do I want like a dedicated cook with like a higher level? Oh man, I think I'm kind of on the look for a cook at this point. So until we have- actually I can print this. So until we have a um, good cook, I think I'm going to keep canceling. Or um, rejecting. That was the one. <laughs> I've been trying to think of the word. So I'm going to keep rejecting everything until we get a good cook. Uh, look at our little system working. Looks like we can make our new sink now. And get this guy taken down. We've got a new colony achievement. Royal Flush. Replace all of the outhouses and wash bins in your colony with lavatories and sinks. <laughs> I like when you get like a big jump in progress as you're going. Ah, I love watching those. All right. So this guy will get put down here soon. Uh, Nes Nesbitt, I noticed uh, you're a bit disgusting. <laughs> uh, 
Let her, uh, let's get her go to the bathroom and wash up there. This guy turned to just the left. Build copy. Trapped. One or more. Oh. All right, we need to dig this out or I Ada will suffocate. There we go. That's something you just gotta pay attention to with when it comes to sand. Oh, Whew. Ada was about to suffocate, but we're good, we're good. Would you all stop ignoring this? <laughs> no, we don't have quite enough water to have available for these two sinks. Let's just turn this guy on for a second. Should be plenty. There we go. Perfect. Some other places I'll end up putting sinks uh, is down here in the kitchen. Uh, I always forget that it's in medicine. So put it in the sink. No, in the kitchen. And then I'll want one down here eventually. Because once we start getting the power built out here, this is going to become like a room where they can put on suits and store stuff uh, and bring in stuff from different biomes. So I want to be extra cautious about it down here, but for now it's fine. So I think that's going to be where I end this episode. We made quite some progress in the bathroom department, uh, which I'm very excited about. Uh, eventually we will continue on building these guys. So what we'll need is to split off some of this clean water. Let that go in. Have the nasty water join up there. <laughs> and we'll need a ladder, I think, so that they can build some of that. So yes, that is what we we accomplished today. Is the bathroom is now running. Whoop. That flipped. So yes, and we're getting stuff cleaned up. I'm very excited. It should be an episode or two more. There won't be garbage all over in the base, which is very nice. Maybe next episode we can can consider starting our ranching and maybe moving the power systems. We'll see. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But otherwise, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.